Hey guys, it's Steph, and I am back with another Mucky Muck at Mickadee's today. So I was craving some McDonald's this morning, also Subway, and I was like, which one do I want? Which one do I want? And I couldn't decide. I literally couldn't decide. And I still feel like I want Subway, but also I want McDonald's, so I'll just get Subway a different time. <laughs> I just love putting like Doritos on my sub sandwich, like that just sounds so delicious. But also there wasn't a drive-thru at the Subway I was gonna go to. So. It's cold out. I'm in my big puffy jacket. I look like a literal marshmallow, which I'm going to take this off because it is kind of bulky. I didn't even know if I was going to keep this. I still have the tag on it. I always do that. I honestly have the tag on my shirt too. Wow, my hair looks long. Ugh. I haven't been washing it that much. I kind of always have done that just to use like dry shampoo. I wash it maybe... I mean, it depends what I'm doing, and if it does look greasy, yeah, I got this from Abercrombie, and this was a ridiculous price. So I was like, I don't know, it's $180. But I mean, coats are, like, expensive, and it's really soft. I just don't know if I like it that much to keep it or not, so I was wearing it today to, like, see. But I kind of like it. So yeah, I was craving some McDonald's today. I saw that the McRib came back. Ugh, gross, I just squished a little bug. The McRib is back. I remember I tried that, I think, like, last December. It was okay, but I'm not getting that. Um, I'm kind of in the mood for a McChicken. I don't think you guys have ever seen me eat a McChicken. I would, like, never get them, but my dad would always get them, and then I got it once, and I was like, this is good. Like, it has, like, a ton of mayo on it. I don't know. It's just, like, a simple little one. Like, it's cute. A little chicken patty reminds me of, like, a high school, high school dinner or high school lunch that you get in the cafeteria, which, honestly, I loved those. And then I also saw that they have pumpkin coffee. This McDonald's, there's always some places that take so long. I don't know why. This McDonald's, literally, I've been in the drive-thru for like an hour before, I swear. But there isn't really a line today, so yay. Chips Ahoy McFlurry. <gasps> We're getting it. Thank you, because I'm my help. Hi, can I get a medium iced pumpkin coffee? A McChicken? A quarter pounder with cheese deluxe. Mm -hmm. um, a medium french fry. And a Chips Ahoy McFlurry in the small size. And that'll be it. All right, medium pumpkin iced coffee, Chips Ahoy McFlurry, deluxe quarter pounder, McChicken, small and a medium fry. Your total will be fourteen sixty-five. second window. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I hate how you, like, they don't show it on the screen anymore because to just hear all that back, I was like, shoot, is that everything I ordered? I have no idea, but <laughs> I've been, every time I do wash my hair, though, I use a hair mask. I use the Moroccan oil repair hair mask because I do have, like, bad split ends that go up high. I'm not sure why. I think it's from when I bleached my whole head, like, forever ago, maybe, like, five years ago. I don't know, but I really damaged my hair doing that. None of you guys probably have seen that because as soon as it was done, I cried and then dyed my hair back to dark. So it was a complete waste. I went two days in a row. I was there like the first day for like six hours, bleaching it over and over again and toning it over and over again. I went to like Best Cuts or something. <laughs> like I just walked in. And I wanted that pretty platinum look with like the dark at the top. It was just all bleached. It was so bad. I looked like Hannah Montana. Like it was like orange and puffy. <laughs> but it's like a funny story to look back on. It's like, oh, what did I do? But my hair is finally like getting healthy again. You can't really tell on camera that there's like little flyaways, but that's at least like with the best cuts, best cuts, or it was a great clips. I don't know, same thing. The worker told me that my split ends like go up to like here. I'm like, what? And I was like, okay, well, I'm, I'm not cutting my hair up to there. So I don't know. I feel like my hairdresser I went to last time um, didn't say that to me. But she did such a good job with my hair. I'm definitely going to go to her again. I love how she did my hair. I'm going to use my Apple Cash. It is free money. I got... 400 bucks on it. Can you believe that? Love the Apple card. Love it. And I just splurged on Apple's website last night. So 
you get like with the Apple card if you buy a stuff buy stuff at Apple you get like 5% cash back or something like it's really nice so I don't think I've seen I got my points yet but that's a lot I finally got myself a new MacBook I got the MacBook Pro like M1 whatever the new design and I got it in the 16 inch. I didn't know what size to get, but I was like, I hate looking at a small little screen, especially when I'm editing, I can't see much. So I was like, I'll just get the big one. Like I'm sure it won't be that heavy. And I needed a laptop so bad. I have not bought a new MacBook since my first one and I was maybe 13 years old, 14 years old. I was young. Was I like 12? I don't know. I was young and it still works. It's just slow, out of space, and like it's heavy. And like I bring it to me when I travel. I bring it with me. So then it's just like heavy to carry around. Why is no one at this window? Did he say go to the second window? Um, but yeah, so hopefully it'll be lighter and easier to carry around in the airport and places. Not sure what's going on here. And then I also got new AirPods. They came out with a new one of those. I was gonna get the new phone. I know you guys all were asking if I do my yearly unboxing of the new iPhone. I decided I'm not gonna get it because um, when I went to Chicago, when I went to the concert Lollapalooza, the festival, I think I was supposed to go up. I got my phone stolen and I had to buy a new one and I had the brand new phone like well not brand new because Lollapalooza was a few months ago but the iPhone 12 Pro got it stolen it was turned off immediately I couldn't track it or anything and then like a month later I was getting weird texts on my new phone I had to buy a brand new one which is like a thousand dollars okay what's going on here oh she said come up okay well then what's the point of that window not sure Yeah, the pumpkin one. Yes. Oh, I haven't paid. Oh, yeah, it's Apple Pay. Thank you. She's like, my phone in there. I need a straw. Oh, I had, a Mc I had a McFlurry also. And can I get a straw for the coffee? Thank you. And can I also get ketchup and ranch? I didn't get two fries. I'm a little confused. Thank you. Um, two fries. Confused. Oh, shoot. I like getting receipts too. Dang it. I always forget to ask. But yeah, I got my phone stolen. I had to buy a new one. But like a month later, I was getting texts. And it was like, we found your lost iPhone. Click this link and we can track it. And it was by fake like Apple ID. So they were trying to like hack into my phone. And also the night my phone was stolen, like two months go by, my dad's like, um, you owe like, $80 or something for an international phone call you did on this day and I'm like that wasn't me so someone called I forget what country they called but they, they called for like an hour on the they called off my phone <laughs> so I don't mmm these are good I think they used Siri and like said like dial this number so crazy I went to the Apple store in Chicago. It was packed. I mean, all the workers were like, everyone here got their phones stolen at the concert. Who does that? Like, like doing bad things like that? Where's my table? It's in the trunk. It's only going to give you bad karma. I don't understand why people do that. Okay, let me go get my table. Okay, let me unbox everything. I know it's a weird angle. Still need to get a tripod. Here's the pumpkin iced coffee. And then I got a medium fry. A McChicken. 
a quarter pounder deluxe with cheese. Then they also gave me a small fry. I have no idea. <laughs> and then I got some ketchup and ranch. And then their new Chips Ahoy McFlurry. Let's open up everything. Mmm, the McChicken. Love the shredded lettuce. And the mayo. Here is the quarter pounder. The cheese deluxe. It's got mayo on it, pickles, lettuce, onion, tomato, cheese, everything good. First bite. Wow. This is good. I have not had this one in so long. It is so saucy too. It's a beautiful day today, just so cold. Like the sun is shining. I was making a quick little TikTok. I've been doing like little short ASMR clips on there. Mm. This Loki tastes like a Whopper. But right now it is four o'clock. Oh my gosh, it is so Saucy. Look at that. I have to go to the grocery store. I don't know if I'm going to go right after this or not. But I need to get some like chicken, salmon, some eggs, avocados, just the weekly stuff and like lunch meat. Everything goes bad so quickly. Okay, make chicken time. Mm, it was only a dollar. I don't think I've ever had McDonald's pumpkin iced coffee. Honestly though, now that it's November, I bet all the like peppermint drinks are gonna come out really soon. So, let me mix this up. Pretty good. Hmm. So creamy. I used to always get McDonald's coffees. Back in the day before I went to high school, I would always get it because it was on the way. And then they put up a Starbucks. I think like my last year in school and then I would always be getting Starbucks. Where I live now, The Starbucks line is so long. Honestly, lots of the lines are so long. When I was at Kane's the other day, I waited like an hour. And now they are only open. I don't know if it's just my area or if this is like everywhere, but Kane's is only open from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. I can't find any workers. So... They literally have to like close it. Like what? I went there one morning, it was like maybe like 12, and I wanted some lunch, and I was like, what? I had you guys ask me some would you rather questions on my Instagram. I haven't looked at them yet, but let's see what there is. 
I'm gonna keep up my phone there. Lose my taste or my smell. What would I rather? Oh, smell for sure. Yeah. There's honestly nothing good about smelling. <laughs> like, yeah, you can smell like food before you eat it or like a candle. But like, what is there good to smell other than that? Cause like, you smell stinky smells, like taking out the trash, you smell the smell of trash and like, you know. So, is there any reason to smell? <laughs> the only good thing would be like if you smelled like a gas or like a fire. But other than that, and I lost that with COVID. Smell and taste though at the same time. So like it was like they were both gone. I was just like eating to eat. And smelling, I, that, yeah, that wasn't an issue at all. <laughs> like I just remember trying to smell a candle and I couldn't. And then I was like, oh no, this ain't good. But I kind of like candles for decoration, honestly. Like, <laughs> I think they look cute sitting out. I don't really light them that often. I need to though. I don't have a lighter. That's also another reason I always forget to buy one when I go to the store. I need to just go buy like a ton because I can't light my candles. I love how all these questions involve cheese, Taco Bell, or Canes. Adopt a cat or adopt a dog? Well, I really do want to adopt a pet, but I don't think I'm like ready for it yet because there's so much work. But like, I would love a pet. I would really like a pet. Honestly, I would want a dog because they're more like fun, but cats are easier to take care of. Um, I just, I'm kind of afraid of cats. Like what if it just cat claws me or like attacks me and they're so quiet so you can't hear when they're coming and they can just like scare you. And they hiss at you, not all of them. I've honestly never met a mean cat but dogs are, I guess, pretty scary too because they're like big. But I love calico cats. I think they're so cute. So right now in my life, I think I would adopt a cat because it's just easier. You know, all you got is the, little, the litter, litter box and like taking the cat to the vet like once a year or something. But a dog, it's like you have to take it out and in like so many times a day. And I feel like they run away. <laughs> like a cat wouldn't. This is really sad kind of. So my, the person who lived in my home before me apparently had like 10 cats or something, like a lot of pets. And my, I guess I don't know if it's my neighbor's cat. I always see on my cameras like 10 times a day different cats coming up to my house and like walking around like to my front door like just everywhere and it's like I wonder if they can sense that their the cats aren't living there anymore and they're like looking for them you know like if they can sense that like they're gone and like they want to find them because they could like still smell them I don't know but I'm like that's sad if so or they're just walking around but I feel like they would know. Animals have such a good smell. Give up cheese or coffee. Uh, coffee all the way. Cheese is my number one fave. Be blonde or brunette? Brunette. Because my eyes and eyebrows are so dark, dark hair like suits me, you know? But now I got these lighter tips, which 
I like that because it kind of is like fall vibes. It looks really pretty. And it's like not by my face, it's like lower. But like if this was all like light up top, like this, like it would look freaky with my eyebrows, you know? Home or club? <laughs> I got mayo on my pants. Home or the club? Home on the weekdays, club on the weekend. I love going out on the weekends with my friends. I love getting dressed up and just like going out and dancing and music and all that. But weekdays, I also am like a person who like loves to be at home, sleeping at home and just relaxing at home, so both <laughs> subway or pot belly subs i've never had pot belly subs i think i've heard of it though would you eat a whole stick of butter or a whole tub of mayo i actually know someone that eats sticks of uh butter i don't want to do that i would eat mayo i honestly am like becoming more like my dad because as you guys know <laughs> he like eats spoonfuls of mayo and I am like doing that now too. If I make a sandwich and there's mayo on the spoon, I will lick the spoon clean. I like really like mayonnaise. <laughs> the texture though, like eating a whole tub of it, can be a little bit weird, but. Mm. Would you rather always have Cheeto stained fingers or fruit punch stained mouth? That's funny. Fingers. I mean, I always literally have Cheeto fingers anyways. And also, I need to paint my nails really bad. Because, like, I get, like, mascara. I have a bad habit of picking off my mascara. And it gets underneath my fingernails. And then it looks, like, black underneath my fingernails. But it's really just mascara. Because I rip it off. And I need to like stop doing that, but like it's a habit. And it looks like my fingernails are dirty and they're not. I need to paint them. It's like the longest I've gone with like natural natural nails in so long. Quarter pounder with cheese deluxe is the best thing on the menu. I it's so good. Be deaf or blind? Deaf. I know. Small amount of ASL. I learned in high school years back. How do you say back? B, B, K? I think it's like back. Um, and ASL was so much fun to learn. That was like honestly one of my favorite classes in high school. It's been a while though, so I don't remember everything as clear as I do. But I still know like the alphabet and like words like soda pop, llama, I love you, sweetheart. Like I still know some words. And my teacher was also deaf. She became deaf when she was like 15 or so from swimming and she was just so so cute and happy and even though she was like deaf yeah i'd, I'd want to be deaf over being blind yeah being blind would be so hard okay i'm gonna try i'm getting honestly getting quite full but let's try this mcflurry Ooh, all the caramel in here mcflurries are so good i was actually wanting one of these yesterday because my friends all wanted milkshakes and i was like ooh, a mcflurry So good it's like the vanilla ice cream is just so good and their machine is always broken though like 
for what? I worked at McDonald's and I remember the machine would always be broken. No one would know how to fix it. Like you just had to like turn it off for a while and then it would work again. Like they're not actually lying. It would be constantly beeping to like beep, 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 and we couldn't fix it. Like the noise would drive me nuts. <laughs> That's so funny. Like, how did no one know how to fix the machine? You'd be surprised. We sold so many McFlurries and ice cream cones. I think I worked there in, like, the winter, too. I only worked there, like, a month or so, but... <laughs> Still counts. There is so much caramel in this thing. It's, like, all on the rim of the cup. Mmm... Well guys, I am full. I hope you enjoyed this sit down mukbang with me. I have, I feel like I haven't done one of these in a while. I want to like get back into doing more and stuff. There's just been like, with like fall stuff, like all the new fall drinks and holiday stuff. There was so many videos I had and then also so many new items have been coming out. So I'm like, I want to try it. I want to try it. But Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also click my notification bell and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.